about thousands of miles away with a potential impact on Houston. In a stunning decision, the people in Massachusetts elected a Republican to fill the U.S. Senate seat long held by a Kennedy. Well, that vote changed the makeup of the U.S. Senate, and it is expected to make it a lot harder for Democrats to pass health care reform. But it could also have an unexpected effect on Houston, the energy capital of the world. Eyewitness News anchor Tom Abrams is here with a closer look at the fallout of the election. Tom? Gina Day, the Massachusetts Senate race not only tips the momentum in Congress to the Republicans, it also has a potentially big effect on legislation that could have impacted Houston's economy. I bet they can hear this cheering all the way in Washington, D.C. When Scott Brown won the junior Senate seat from Massachusetts, it gave a shot in the arm to outnumbered Republicans. The American people sent a very clear message through the voters in Massachusetts that they're concerned about the spending and the debt and the government intervention in their lives in ways that limits their freedoms. It also potentially changed the course of big legislation, given that Democrats no longer have a filibuster-proof 60 seats in the Senate. This is a really broad, significant setback because it reflects concerns not only among voters in Massachusetts, but all over the country, particularly independent voters, many of whom voted for Obama. Namely, it affects cap and trade, which would have restricted and taxed refineries for emitting carbon dioxide, costing everyone more money for electricity and fuel. Would be bad for oil and gas in general. Bob Tippy edits the Oil and Gas Journal. He says a more fairly distributed carbon tax could take the place of cap and trade. That may be out there in the future at some point if the the feeling remains in Congress that, that uh, uh, CO2 mitigation has to be addressed politically. Well, I think cap and trade was on life support anyway. Public Houston Republican Congressman Kevin Brady says killing cap and trade was only part of the shift. I think there's a, a really a tidal wave coming across the country against all this spending, against this health care takeover, and against the cap and trade. It's a wake-up call for Democrats. Houston Democrat Congressman Gene Green says there are many more important fish to fry and that he hopes his party will listen to what voters want. I have to admit, coming from my district in North and East Harris County, cap and trade wasn't my main priority. Uh, we do have environmental problems, but it's not carbon. It is still likely the Obama administration will move to change emission standards in some way. And again, a carbon tax is not out of the realm of possibility. But without 60 Democratic senators on the Hill, it seems cap and trade is all but dead. Tom Abrams, 13 Eyewitness News.